Hi, this is a second tutorial in simple linear regression. In the first part of the linear regression tutorial, I looked at how to carry out the regression analysis in SPSS. This time we're going to be looking at R Commander and R, specifically using the using R package. That's using R with uppercase U and uppercase R. Remember, there's eight steps to carry out the analysis. Plot the data at the regression line add confidence prediction intervals, obtain model statistics, the usual parameter estimates and p-values, obtain influence statistics, the uh, values of um, various things that measure distance or leverage from the line, to see how close and far away certain points are, and consider the line assumptions, which are part of statistical validity. Um, and then we look at the regression diagnostics as well. We need to consider the dangers of regression, but that's really something to do with my PDF handout, which you can find at my website. We won't be looking at that in terms of carrying out the analysis in R directly. We'll consider R Commander first. So to do that, we load the R Commander library. There's a graphical interface to R. Right, so we're going to load the data from the SPSS file we used for the previous example. So it's data, input data from SPSS file. Call it my data frame as usual. Check to see we've loaded the data correctly. Yep. And now what we want to do first of all is draw a plot. So we go to graphs, scatter plot. The dialog shows us a selection of x and y variables we can select. The x variable you can think of as independent or input variable. So that is the smoking, cigarettes. The output variable, the dependent variable, is the lung cancer rate. Um, we want the least squares regression line, which is already selected. We'll leave on marginal box plots. We'll look at that when we see the output. We don't need this smooth line or show spread. Click OK. Um, sometimes nothing happens. If you notice down there, the graphics window is hidden. If you double click on it, it comes up again. Um, if you don't like it showing the full window, you can obviously restore the original size there we are so what we have is a scatter plot the regression line and a box plot for each of our variables quite useful now we will produce the actual standard output for regression analysis in our commander to do that we first of all got to define a linear model to do that we go to statistics fit models linear regression statistics fit models linear regression click on there our commander needs a name for our model we'll call it lung cancer and response variable dependent variable as i say is lung cancer the explanatory the input variable the independent variable the cigarette consumption click ok and now you notice some things have happened there's a model now defined called lung cancer and we have some results in our output window. We notice it's a standard set of results. We have here the coefficients, the intercept and cigarettes value. We have a p-value just like SPSSS. And we also have the multiple R squared, adjusted R squared, and the S statistic of a p-value, which you will notice is exactly the same as it's a simple regression. We talk about a correlation value is. Notice no confidence interval here. To obtain the confidence interval, select models, confidence intervals. Click on there, it asks you which level of confidence you want. 95 is fine. Click OK. And there are confidence intervals. 
We also talked about influence statistics and aggression diagnostics that we produced in SPSSS. We do a similar thing in our commander. Models, graphs, basic diagnostic plots. You click on there, you see we have four plots. I'm just going to mention quickly to find out what the four graphs mean. It's a good idea to look at my handout on my website, number 11, Simple Regression. Within that PDF document, there is a section called Regression Diagnostics. And on the page there, you have four graphs, um, exactly the same as the R Commander output, and it explains what you're looking for. Um, I've used smiley faces and sad faces to explain what you want and what you don't want, and how these relate to each of the align assumptions that we talked about concerning simple linear regression. Back in R and our commander, what we'd like to do actually is also get a list of values of the various influence statistics that we've just seen plotted on the four diagrams. And we can do that quite simply. In the script window, we type in the command influence.measures, influence.measures, and then put in the model that we've defined, and our model is lung cancer. There. So we click on the beginning of that line, and then click Submit, which submits it via our command as the R interface. And we notice in the output window, there we have a set of influence statistics, including notice Cook's distance and hat. I talk about these in the PDF. You'll notice there's a star there valued, saying that's a particularly interesting value, number two there. Now I'm going to produce the confidence intervals and the prediction intervals using another package. So close down our commander, exit OK, so script file, no, save up file, no. Just to check that we still have our active data set in there, my da data frame, there's the data. Actually, if we type in as well, lung cancer, you can see that we've still got the lung cancer model. Now I'm going to install the package using R. To do this, we type in the command install dot packages, then the name of the package we want, which is using R in parentheses and quotes. So we've got the quote and then using R. Notice using R is spelt with an uppercase U and an uppercase R. Press return and then it asks us where we're going to collect the package from. Choose your closest place. Press OK. Now we can use the package we've installed, but we need to tell R to use that particular library. So just as we do with R command, we type in the library name. And now it says it's attached to using R. Now we have using R installed. We can use the various commands in that package to draw our graph with the intervals. Um, just to check once again that we have my data frame. There we are. We want to be able to use these variable names directly. So we make sure we attach the data frame. So let's just type in six, to make sure we've got it. There we are. Fine. Now we're going to use the command that's available in using R that produces our graph. So it's simple.lm. That's for linear model, simple dot linear model. We've got our two variables. Notice six is the X variable, lung cancer, the Y variable, dependent variable. If we want to show a confidence interval, we specify the level. Press return, and here is a graph we've been wanting. We have confidence interval there and prediction interval there. No values there. The using R library is based upon a book written by John Varanzi. It's an excellent little book called Using R for Introductory Statistics. And you can find either um, a draft of the book in a Google search, and it's at the cramrproject.org website, 
or you can look at the book in Amazon and order a copy if you wish. So in this short tutorial, we've looked at R Commander and using R Library. We plotted the data using R Commander. We added regression line using R Commander. We added competence and prediction intervals using the using R package. And then we obtained model statistics again using R Commander. And we obtained influence statistics using R Commander adding um, a command line in if you remember to get the exact details for each point. Um, we did consider the line assumptions which are part of statistical validity and we looked at those with regards to regression diagnostics using the four diagrams we had and I referred to my PDF document for further details about how to interpret those four diagrams. We didn't really consider the dangers of regression but again see my notes for further discussion about that aspect. Find out all my details and the notes and other videos at the website given below.